What is up fam? Welcome back to another episode. I am with John Fletcher and we are here at Acme. We're gonna test this hill out, see what it's like, try and get an event going. I'm just gonna be doing this hill in sections while John gets some drone video footage. The drone won't go all the way from the top to the bottom of the hill. So we're just gonna do this in sections for right now because the road is the way it is. All right, let's get into this. All right, so I just got dropped off. John is going down to the corner. When the drone comes up and it sits behind me, then I'm going to drop in and just do this corner here. Uh, I'm going to do it two hands down just because that's, uh, that's what I can do right now. <laughs> While I'm waiting for the drone, I might as well warm up my wheels a little bit. All right, I hear the drone coming in now. The drone's right up there. But I got a car right in front of me, so I gotta wait. Give a little bow to the hill, pay respects, and then hand it on down. That was a pretty cool shot of the drone going by like that. As far as repairs, they didn't make as much as I wanted to. And hopefully by the time this event happens, they'll make more. They fixed this right here, whatever this is. There was a big hole and they fixed this big old patch. But the problem with this is not in a line. So the racing line comes through here on this side and we've got this little bit of chunder, but this is manageable. But the problem is it's right in the racing line if you look at it like that. So it has its features we need to fix. Well, how bad is it? <laughs> it's got some features. So John wants to do it again. I guess he wasn't as close as he thought he was to the with the drone. So we're gonna do this upper section again. So I don't really see any issues with this upper section. And it's totally manageable. And then once we clean all this area up, it'll totally be fine. I think this time I'm gonna stay down here. And then Back at the spot number one, um, we're gonna try again. Uh, I'm, I am riding my mids black arrow with uh, Era P2s and the uh, Powell Purple Crimes. That's my setup. I'll wait on the drone now. All right, here comes the drone. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> I've honestly never been followed by a drone before. 
be interesting to see the video footage. Again, I just want to show you why we're doing this hill just sections for right now. Just in case I mess up, I'd rather not die on rusty guardrails, like right here or right here. For this event, we will have hay bales all along these guardrails and probably out to about here. So these, this section of guardrails right here will be covered for this event. But for right now, we're just gonna wait on the drone. I'm gonna take this right-hander, then it goes into a little bit of a straightaway, which is perfect. And then the next turn is a left-hander, which is awesome. I will have to break lane in order to make it like efficient. I should be able to see through the trees and make sure the lane is clear. But if it's not, then we'll stay in the perspective lane. Uh, the finish line is marked somewhere around here, right here. There are these two lines right here, here and here. That's where the finish line is. What we were thinking, we were going to cut this lane off completely. But if we can fix this spot, this spot, this spot, and this spot, and this line, then we might start hay bales way up here and cut this whole lane off completely. But we don't know, this is contingent. This might be a maybe. We wanna hear from the community what they might think, that as you're coming into this turn, you might see hay bales starting in a line, like right here, and then continuing down the center line. That way spectators can stay on this side, people can walk up and down the hill, but that's if this side of the road does not get finished. So apparently I'm only supposed to go up to this point and drop from right about here. I guess that was a go. Again soon? Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I don't. I know you probably don't have time to go see Mike, so. I, I don't think I do, no. So another unique feature to Acme is its campsites. We have an entire campground that's it's included in your registration, and they have these 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 wooden platforms that you can set your tent up on. They have little things to tie downs, one in the middle, on the ends, all the way around. We have a table, fire pit, and it's all at the top of the hill. So I'll show you how close the campground is to the actual racetrack. Another unique feature 
is the campground has its own free ride hill. This area here is the staging area where you will sign up for registration, get your wristbands, and just overall hang out area. This is where we start running into our first major features. That and that little bump right there. So we will probably, instead of fixing this area, we'll just kind of mark it out with orange triangles to tell you to kind of just go around it. literally sitting on just the other side of the finish line and from here on out is where the majority of the problems are this side of the road we might just close off completely and send all the riders on the opposite lane because that's the cleaner lane to go the rest of this has gotten worse since the last time we have been here the goal is to get it fixed hopefully we can get it fixed before august if that's the case we won't close down half of the road if it gets if it gets fixed we will keep the road open so we will have this entire lane because the preferred line is right where I'm standing after the finish line you don't want to go over to this side just to make your finish because it's it's been a bail long so ideally we want to get it finished and fixed that way you guys can have a nice preferred line so from here I'm just gonna go to the bottom the turnaround spot and you guys I'm gonna take it nice and slow you guys can actually physically see how bad it is on this side of the road.
Another one of the benefits of coming to the Acme event is its world-renowned pump track. Check it out. Boom, 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 boom. All right, I'm just kidding. This is the mini pump track. The big one's over there. Let's go check it out. I'll be riding the pump park on my original DK Arbiter on caliber twos and cloud ride slushies. Hold on, skateboard. Yeah. Dude, hell yeah, what? What'd you, did you just bump into me? All right, I'm gonna drop. y'all you've seen the hill you've seen the benefits so with that being said my overall opinion is the hill it's skatable you advanced riders will be able to manage this hill just fine it's just after the finish line is where it gets a little sketchy we're hoping to get all that stuff fixed for the august event if it's not fixed or up to par we will close half of that last section down we only have one lane you don't want to do that. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Stay positive. Keep riding your snowboards and your skateboards. Peace, y'all.